السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس مائی جونیئر ڈاکٹرس ٹوڈے وی ہیو ٹو ڈسکس دی ایکسٹرنل جینیٹیریا پارٹ اف دی فیمیل ریپروڈکٹیو سسٹم یو نو دیٹ ایکسٹرنل جینیٹیریا ان فیمیلز دس از آلسو نون ایز ولوا اینڈ دس از آلسو نون ایز پیوڈینٹم Pudentum. Okay, this is known as vulva or pudentum, and it consists of number one monstubus, labia majora, labia minora, hymen, and fifth clitoris. Okay. There are five parts which form the external genitalia of females, starting from mons pubis, followed by labia majora, labia minora, hymen, and clitoris. Labia, sorry, this mons pubis, this is a cushion of fatty tissue covered by skin and pubic hair. Cushion of fatty tissues covered by pubic hair. You can uh, remember by the word pubis, mons pubis, covered by pubic hair, so it is easily, uh, it can be easily identified. If you are asked to label the diagram, you can easily label it. The part which is covered by a pubic hair is known as mons pubis. And mons pubis is followed by two major folds of skin found in the outer boundary of uh, vulva, known as labia majora. Labia majora. two folds of skin covering the outer boundary of vulva labia as you know labia means lips Majora, major. These are also known as the major lips, yeah, upper lips. These are the two folds of skin covering the outer boundary of vulva. This is also covered by here. Then labia minora means lower lips, your yeah, smaller lips. These mark the inner boundary of vulva. Mark the inner boundary of vulva okay mons pubis a cushion of fatty tissues covered by pubic hair labia majora or the two folds of skin covering the outer boundary of vulva also covered by hair then labia minora these mark the inner boundary of vulva then hymen what is hymen this is uh, the perforated membrane which guard the opening of vagina perforated membrane which guard the opening of external opening of vagina clitoris is a sensitive erectile structure
and this can be compared to the pins or in males or we can say this is the homologous structure of pins and is formed or that this is very highly sensitive structure because of rich supply of nerves it consists of uh, two uh, bundles of erectile tissues as like uh, those are that of pins jaise ki pins mein teen bundles hote hain erectile tissues ke do corpora cavernosa ke aur ek corpora uh, spongiosum ka लेकिन यहाँ कॉर्पोरा स्पंजियोसम एब्सेंट होता है दो इरेक्टाइल टिश्यूज होते हैं दो इरेक्टाइल बंडल्स होती है यहाँ कलाइटोरिस में यूज आर कॉर्पोरा कैवरनोसा कॉर्पोरा कैवरनोसा ओके तो इस तरह से जो क्लाइटोरिस है ये सेंसिटिव स्ट्रक्चर है इट इज हाईली सेंसिटिव स्ट्रक्चर बिकॉज ऑफ द रिच सप्लाई ऑफ नर्वस बिकॉज ऑफ द rich supply of nerves rich supply of nerves ki wajah se ye structure kya hota hai highly sensitive ab hum is pure you know structure ko diagram ki madad se samajhne ki koshish karenge we i told you that it consists of monus pubis to pehle hum diagram banayenge This is actually uh, labia majora, two folds of skin covered by hair, and upper to this, this is the anterior end, and this is the posterior end. Okay, this is the pubic region, which we call mons pubis, uh, covered by pubic hair. This is mons pubis. and this is the empty space isko hum uh, vestibule kehte hain this is known as vestibule on the posterior side of it lies an opening that opening is known as this is vaginal opening ya vaginal orifice and this vaginal orifice a vaginal opening is guarded by a perforated membrane that perforated membrane is known as hymen okay this is known as hymen this is perforated so that uh, this menstrual blood can flow through this opening and this is in, uh, regarded as the generally this regarded as the uh, sign of virginity in females but that is a misconception i have already discussed it that is a misconception because it may or may not rupture during the first coitus uh, it sometimes it is removed surgically and sometimes it is torn because of the because of various heavy uh, exercises say various athletic exercises uh, because of swimming because of cycling because of because of other activities jumping etc so there is a misconception hai it may it can not it may or may not be the, the sign of virginity and so this opening uh, vaginal orifice this lies on the posterior side above vaginal orifice is a second opening that is urethral opening or urethral orifice okay and on the upper edge of the this is labia minora where the two folds of skin meet on the upper side where the two folds are two these labia minora meet here lies a highly sensitive structure known as clitoris 
So in the vestibule, three important things are present. Clitoris, the sensitive structure, erectile structure comparable to the pins in males. In the middle is urethral, urethral orifice. And on the posterior side is present vaginal orifice. So on the posterior side is present the vaginal orifice. On the anterior side is present the clitoris. Clitoris is a sensitive structure. It is highly sensitive because of the rich supply, presence of rich supply of nerves. It consists of the, uh, the these uh, two bundles of erectile tissues known as corpora uh, cavernosa. The space enclosed by labia minora. You of space the crane, the space in this is labia minora, labia minora. Or you of bar bar the decrain this here the major the upper lipus covered by here this is labia majora labia a ko kehte hain labia majus kyunki plural hai labia majora do hote hain labia minora do hote hote hain urethral orifice urethral orifice a clitoris a or vaginal orifice a hymen a the space enclosed by the labia minora. The space enclosed by the labia minora. This space is known as vestibule. This space is known as vestibule. It is in the vestibule where you know, three these three structures are present: vaginal orifice, uh, then urethral orifice, and clitoris. On the anterior side is present clitoris. On the posterior side is present vaginal orifice, guarded by a perforated membrane known as Hymen and in between the two is present the urethral orifice. Okay, so uh, second, uh, ye, uh, vestibule jo hai, kya isme do opening is present hoti hai, ek urethral opening or vaginal opening. Ye vestibule region jo hota hai, vestibule region me present hote hai, vestibular glands. Is region me present hote hai, vestibular glands. Vestibular region. Contains various vestibular glands. Those glands is present. Greater vestibular glands. Greater vestibular glands. And lesser vestibular glands. Okay. Ye greater vestibular glands jo hai, greater vestibular greater vestibular glands are known as uh, these are also known as Bertholin's glands. These are known as Bertholin's glands. Okay, and lesser vestibular glands are known as paraurethral glands. Para urethral glands okay bertholinus glands are present bertholinus glands are present these are these surround the vaginal opening and produce lubricating fluid bertholinus glands are present okay? on the sides of the vaginal orifice bertholinus glands are present on the sides of the Vaginal orifice, Bartholinus glands. Okay, these secrete the lubricating fluid. So, vagina ki jo lubrication hoti, it is because of the secretion of Bartholinus glands and by because of the secretion of the uh, mucus glands present in cervicus, cervical mucus glands. Okay, uh, urethral orifice ke side me present hoti hai, para urethral glands. So, yaha is ke side me present hoti hai, para urethral glands. Okay, paraurethral glands ka role kya hai? Ye neutralize karte hai isko acidity of urine. These neutralize the acidity of urine. Bartholin's glands produce the lubricating fluid which lubricates the uh, vagina. Okay, so this is all about the external genitalia in females. Uh, next, we'll discuss uh, mammary glands in females. Okay, thank you.